Last week we promised to send LPs to the centres of the three best questions for the Beatles. We'd like to send the top prize to the centre of this outfit, but in fact we haven't got a name and address to go with it, which is a pity, because it's a terrific effort. Rank Ringo, could you hold the other end, mate? Thank you. It says Beatles across the top, and then it says John and Paul and George and Ringo, and every card has got a different question on it, which I think is a terrific effort, don't you? However, we have got the name of Jennifer Fortnum of Eggamswood Road, Beaconsfield. Who would like to know? Could you tell me what the Beatles would prefer to do? Have a night out with Bridget Bardo or £1,000? Paul? A night out with Bridget Bardo. <laughs> John? £1,000. Ringo? Bridget. George? Both, please. Both? <laughs> I'm not surprised. You got the right idea. You could teach these other guys something. Another question. He's older than you. From Celia Johnson of Stanley Avenue, Wembley. Could you ask the Beatles their views on dialectic materialism? Paul? <laughs> what? Ringo? <clears throat> What's that? George? Yes, I enjoy it. You enjoy it. John? Well, I've been thinking about this one. The 19th century political theories, Marx and Hegel, involves a theory that the head-on clash conflicting ideological produced a state of temporary equilibrium until threatened by the next stage in political thought. Mm. In my opinion, the ultimate validity still has to be tested. Yeah. Right, that's about all we've time for at the moment. This press conference is obviously going to go on with lots more questions. Next week, same time, do be with us, please, for another Ready, Steady, Go. Until then, so long.